eventually the shock finally registered with me. A numb feeling spread from the center of my brain, almost instantly. Nagito is dead. Everybody has gone, my name is Tamu, welcome everybody to Danganronpa 2, goodbye despair. Turns out, Nagito has been brutally, brutally tortured, and then finally killed. My only question is, who the hell would do this? I mean, the sick bastard kind of was asking for it for the most part, if you think about it. Although, if you do remember, if you do remember from the first game, he's he's one thing I'm suspicious about this case, and maybe I'm just overthinking it, which typically I am. But still, in the first game, when it came to the uh, fifth trial, which is going to be this trial here, the murder was not a real murder. The murder was of a fake body, of a fake person. It could be a possibility with this, maybe, I just don't know yet, but it could be that this could not, maybe it's not the real Nagato, unless it is the real Nagato, and we have definite proof that it is the real Nagato. I don't know yet, I don't know yet, but I'm gonna be extremely suspicious and gonna be very cautious about the details of this case and the details of the people that we have with us. Currently, out of everybody that's alive, I'm having a hard time figuring out who pro Maybe some people could have done it. Possibly some people could have done it. Somebody who... Well, no, not her, but some people that probably seen tortures have happened. Probably could have done it. Could be that some people actually snapped and went at him. I don't know yet. I don't know yet, though. I don't know yet. Uh, we still don't know too much about Sonya's past and everything, so it could be a possibility. I don't know yet. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Which one of us did this? <gasps> Wait a minute. There's also a possibility that somebody else could be alive on the island. <gasps> there is a possibility that somebody, somebody else could be alive on the island just hiding. That could be also very much a possibility. If I think about it. If you think about it. Okay. Let's assume. Okay. Here's a question. Let's assume that we, you know, a Hajime, we are not part of the ultimate class. Maybe we are an extra. Imagine that. Think about it this way. Think about it this way. 16 ultimates entered the island. But it was confirmed that Hajime was not an ultimate. Hajime was part of the reserve class. So that means there has to be one more ultimate on this island that is probably controlling this and hidden everything away. And we were just put there to be filled in as the 16th ultimate. But we're not actually a 16th ultimate because we are part of the reserve class. And supposedly, according to Nagito. So that means there could be another 16th student on this island that could have done this. God, okay, my mind's gonna be going crazy about this anyway. We, I need to come down a little bit, I need to come down, we need to be a little bit more serious about this investigation. But holy hell, this guy could stab the hell out of himself. Jesus. You don't want to solve this before me. I wasn't able to comprehend the reality yet. That's a that's a that's a optimal reaction to have to this. What? What's going on here? Are you serious? Is he really dead? He's not pretend to be dead, is he? I mean, it's Nagito, you know. That's right, it's Nagito. He always messed with us. He always tried to confuse us. That's why I can't believe it. Nagito ended up in such a cruel state. Nagato is dead. Deep down, I believed that when the killing finally ended, I'd never see this guy again. I never expect to be looking at Nagato's body like this. Nagato probably thought the same thing. He couldn't help seeing it in his dead, frightened face. But on this island, unbelievably abnormal occurrences happen all the time. Even Nagato couldn't escape the truth. But even something as small as that. been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! <sighs> Don't tell me! The body discovery announcement? Then, this is for real. Hey! The Nagato's really dead? Damn it! It's not just that he's dead! If the body discovery announcement was made, does that mean Nagato was killed? Killed? Well, I mean, look at his body. Look at the uh, look at every way he's been impaled. There's no way he just accidentally fell, tripped and fell. He has been murdered by somebody. 
Plus, it's one of us! I mean, that's what it means, right? One of us killed Nagito. One of us killed it so brutally. Then, it's going to start again? Huh? The class trial is going to start soon, then. Right then? Of course! Yep, we gotta do it! We gotta find out whose Nagito killer is. Hey, no, no matter what you get sacrificed, you're determined to survive at least. And leave this island, right? Shing. And aside for action is now. So allow me to give you a familiar Monica of Five. <coughs> Sorry, uh, having a hard time getting back in the voices again. <coughs> Jeez, how, how, how did her voice go? How did her voice go again? Um. <coughs> Hold on, right there. I guess that works. Why? Don't get in my way like that. I was about to whip out my Monokuma file in such a cool way. You stupid brother! Shut up! I can't, st I can't stand this. Uh, 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 wow, my voice is really bad right now. Holy hell! Okay, let me try that again. <coughs> Shut up! I can't stand this anymore. Yeah, that's okay. That's nasally annoying voice. I can't stand this anymore. Got it? How much longer are you going to keep putting up? I uh, keep putting it through this. No more. I won't let you. I'll make sure I pulverize your evil intentions. Hey, hey! Say something! What's this? Oh, now I remember who you are. You mad me. Hey. <laughs> you just noticed? Like... Anyway, Marmy, if you're gonna talk about my intentions, why don't you talk about yours first? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> what are your intentions anyway? Why are you keeping everyone cooped up on this island? I'm sure everyone here wants to know too, you know? She's not gonna say anything either. She 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 put us on this on purpose here. She is part of the future foundation. She's here forcefully keeping us here. And Markum is just abusing the right. <laughs> what? No fair! You're shutting up too! Please wait! Enough already. We all have we already have enough to deal with concerning Nagito. Please, not say anything else that will confuse us. Hey. Anyway, let's begin. Huh? But... This is just... I mean, in the end we still have to do it, right? As long as killings happen, we can't do anything about it, right? We have no choice but to do it, right? Besides, it's our fault that we couldn't even prevent it. Ah... I know. That's the only way we can survive, right? Nice. <clears throat> My voice is gonna be a little bit, uh, off right now, so I do apologize about it. <laughs> God. Whew. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like your kids are way more well behaved than mine me. Don't fuck with me! We're tired of this too, you know? That's why I'll definitely make sure to finish this good this time. This is kinda of depressing. Ah, does that mean you guys are getting bored of this cool trip? Actually... Don't worry, the end is near. Huh? The end? What's the matter? Don't make a face like a pig that's about to become bacon. You already noticed it, right? <laughs> Meaning behind the Monokuma timer. Um, I guess there's only two days left. Huh? huh. Oh, yeah, there are two only days left. When the time reaches zero, two days from now, what will happen to us? Hmm? The school trip will be over. Hey, hey! If this will finally. <clears throat> if this will finally be over. You serious? Does that mean we can go home? What are you gonna do? Don't count your bears before they hatched. Bears before they hatched. There's still something you gotta do before that, right? So... Once again... It's the Monokuma file! Phew. You guys need to find out who Nagato's skeleton is and survive the class trial. If this ends here, there won't be an afterward after all. Oh, there won't be an afterward at all. Do your best. I won't forgive you! I won't let you escape this time! Wait right there! Hmm. What do you guys think? If this good trip's nearly at the end, it's safe to think we can go home, right? But still... Kazuichi, I understand how you feel, but we need to focus on Nagato's case first. Damn it! Even if we can't go home, it'd be the end for us if we screw up here. Alright! Then let's hurry up and solve Nagato's case so we can all go back home. However... It is nice to think everyone can go home, but that is impossible, right? I mean, someone in this room killed Nagito. There's a killer among us. The weight of those words began to sink into me. That was true in the previous cases, but was it really true this time? No matter how much I tried, I couldn't believe it. 
Because the victim was Nagito? Because his death was abnormally cruel? No, it wasn't just that. There was something more to it than that. And whatever it was, it was stuck inside me. Oh, alright. First, we need to look at the Monokuma file and listen to that song that it plays here. It's like the end of the world kind of song. Holy hell. Okay, let's see what we can find here. The victim is Nagito Komaeda. The body was discovered inside the warehouse near the Monokuma Palachi factory, and the song is actually really jammy. Holy hell, this is I like this. Estimated time of death is believed to be even sharp. Not only is that spear stabbing the stomach, the own multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there's a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. What a tragic situation. Just reading this is making me depressed. Huh? Is there something wrong with this Monokuma file? Hmm? Again? But what's wrong with it? Not only is there a spear stab in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there's a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. Yep. Hmm. It's definitely weird. Mm. Well, I guess I'll find out if I look around. That's what the investigation is for. Don't worry, if, don't worry or form conclusion on your own. It makes me more worried than I should be. Mm. We can discuss it later. Right now, it's, a, it's our only chance to, to investigate. So we should investigate first. See? If you don't, don't be anything for us to discuss. Well, I guess you're right. Let's start with the area surrounding Nagato's body. We should start with the back of the warehouse. Since the curtain blocked most of the water, uh, this area wasn't affected by the sprinklers that much. Thanks to that, I can probably investigate Nagato's body. Never thought I'd have to investigate Nagato's body. Probably didn't expect to end up like this either. Okay, so according to according Chi to Chiaki, there's something up with the way he died. Something is up with his lacerations. Got it. We have to investigate a little bit more. There's a Marikuma here. Marikuma plushie with a hole in it. I want to check out what that's all about. Marikuma's dead. There's blood coming out of his stomach. Hey. No, resp no response. Is that Jim? Oh wow! Hi. Just kidding. I'm not dead. Is this one of the life-size plushies that were being produced at the factory? <laughs> if you're making a plushie for me, then there's something wrong with you. You're a stuffed animal too. Hey! Now put oversized garbage there, it's so misleading. What the heck? What do you call an oversized garbage? Could this be one of Monokuma's tricks? I'm, I'm very much lost actually. <laughs> the hell? And why do you do it? Making a hole like this got... Making a hole like it got stabbed. Go into the trouble dirtying the hole with blood. Did he trying to imitate Nagato's body or something? What are you saying? I had nothing to do with that. Huh? You're so evil. He's probably lying. Seriously, he's always lying. She just died like the plush over there. What's Whoa. This? Jeez, Monami is going harsh. It seems more pissed than usual these days, Monami. But you better watch what you say. <laughs> if I feel like it, I can wipe you out easily, you know. I won't give you two, ten, two threats. I'll fight you until the very end. I can't lose. I'll definitely take back the seat of world supremacy from Anakuma. World supremacy? Okay, I'll let, I'll let them handle their own drama then. Look, let's, let's notice it's a con. Finally, it wasn't Monokuma Strict, then who did this? Could the killer have done this? If so, is this, Nag is this Nagato's blood? I have no idea how this connects to the incident. Okay, so we do have a uh, rupture monocular plushie. What I think ended up happening is maybe something was planted inside the monocular plushie. It was actually used as a way to uh, burst open and probably st maybe that was maybe the spear was actually being put behind the monocular plushie and maybe thrust it from the from the back. The spear ruptured, ruptured the uh, the chest of the chest of monocular plushie and stabbed Nagito. But at the same time, Nagato's blood, as the piercing happened, spilled onto the plushie. That could be a possibility. Because I don't think the plushie, I don't think actually somebody, like, sprayed blood on the plushie. I think the plushie got actually sprayed blood on it uh, because of puncture from inside out. But if you go and check the back of it, that'd be lovely. Monocle plushie has been added to the blood section of the handbook. Alright, so we do have that available for us to investigate. Alright, lighter. Uh, we could, oh, there is a lighter here. This is... It's an oil lighter. This is what the curtain would have been hang 
This is where the curtains would have been hanging. Looks like the fire did extensive damage. The oil ladder was placed here. Just kidding. Ah, an oil ladder. Summer Papa wants to keep warm. Bring it on. It's the most foolish thought. This is clearly the cause of the fire. Well? Oil ladders can continue to burn even after someone lets go of them. Which means? So using that, the curtain was set on fire. Using the oil ladder, huh? Oh wait, using the oil ladder, huh? Do you think the killer set up some sort of trick with it? You are right. The killer probably planned to destroy evidence by setting this warehouse on fire. Cause the fire to destroy evidence? That's the only reason I can think of why a killer would set a fire to the crime scene, but... And I think they try to put the, uh... <clears throat> they try to put gas in the, um... The fireproof glasses, right? The, the fireproof, um... Uh, bottles. And try to put gas in it instead. In order to help cover up the evidence of burn away uh, Nagito's body. But because of the curtain and because of the sprinklers, that actually failed them, I think. Let's go ahead and actually check on the fire grenades here, that aren't really fire grenades. Wait, that's, that's not what I need here, that's a gas ladder. Oh, that's an oil ladder. I already know about it, yep, I already know about this. I'm gonna go ahead and skip through this. I already know about this, yep. Let's uh, check on the fire grenades. Or oh, the fire grenades. Looks like a bunch of plastic bottles. Remnants of plastic are scattered all over the place. This is probably... Those fire grenades that we used to split out the fire. Well, they weren't actually that useful in the end. The fire was only extinguished thanks to sprinklers. Well, nevertheless, the evidence really isn't that strange. Are you kidding me? Do we not want to check the liquid or smell what kind of gas that was in those things? Because I'm pretty sure those fire grenades actually contain gasoline or the flammable chemicals rather than, you know, anti-fire, you know, chemicals. Because that's why that's the only reason why the fire actually went up in before the flames. There's a blood mark over here on top. So I feel like maybe he was hanging here? I feel like he might have been hanging actually. Let me check on Nagato directly. I never expected Nagito to die like this. He was always spouting nonsense about hoping and trying to abuse the hell out of us. But even so, time like this is just too cruel. And so he wasn't completely useless. There were times we were only able to reach the truth because of him. But everything good and bad about him is gone. We will never be confused by him again. Never be saved by him again. No. Now isn't the time to think about unnecessary things. I need to focus on the investigation right now. For now, I need to investigate everything about this body that catches my eye. Okay, that thing over there, whatever this thing, whatever power tool is, we can, it looks like we can't actually investigate that whatsoever. We can check left hand, we can check the burnt rope. Burnt rope? Oh yeah, that should be, that should be from the fire. Check on the feet. Uh, yeah, let's check on the feet first. Both Nakato's legs are tied up. Each rope is is uh, tied to the pillars nearby. I wouldn't have been able to move at all. According to the Marakama file, the wounds of his legs are all stab wounds. Does that mean the killer didn't tie up Nagato? Uh, they just also stabbed his legs? Why would the killer do something like this? Damn it! At any rate, it's pretty sadistic. The killer must have been holding a huge grudge towards him. Or they might have been torturing him. Torture? Huh? I mean, if they just wanted to kill him, they would have just stabbed him once in the chest, right? Let me disregard the spear in his chest. The other ones were inflicted for reasons other than killing. Which means the wounds all over Nagato's body were from the killers torturing him. That's the case. What was the killer trying to make Nagato confess? Also, I gotta say, I love the track. I love the music that's playing right now. It's so rockish. It's like the crescendo. It's like this, the ultimate moment, the ultimate crescendo before things are going down. I love it though. I really, really love it. Was it something that would have led to the traitor? Even so. Well, even if this was torture, there's no doubt that the killer must have held deep grudge towards Nagato. Freeze the lemon die easily. I can totally understand a dark impulse like that. But even if they had a grudge against him, what they really have done would they really have gone this far? Torture wounds have been added to the two bullet section of a handbook. Okay, well we can't investigate that. Let's check on the uh, knife here. The knife is stabbed through Nagato's right hand. Did the killer do this? How could he do something so cruel? This knife must be from the military base. 
Military base? And now that you mention it, you're right. It looks like a survival knife. Well? By the way, it seems that wounds on his leg is left and left arm were caused by that same knife. Which means, after the killing was finished, finished stabbing him, Knife just. Uh, <laughs> Let me try that again. Which means, after the killer was finished stabbing Naruto's legs and left arm, and stabbed the knife through his right hand. It cannot be. And then, they finished him off with a spear. How cruel. Then, does that mean the killer went to the trouble of using two weapons, a knife and a spear? But they could have just killed him by stabbing him with a knife. How did they choose a spear at all? You are right. That is definitely strange. Was there a reason they had to use it? A reason they had to use a spear, huh? Survival so knife has been added to the to the section of the handbook. All right, they also is another possibility that I'm thinking of. Now this could be also crazy, and this could be also kind of wrong. But if you really think about it, with how sadistic Nagato has been, it could be, it could possibly be, it could possibly possibly be that he could have set this whole thing up. In order to make us think that one of us killed him. In order for us to choose wrong and have everybody be the blackened and you know, have everybody be executed. Let's say for example, for for example, let's say, for example, for example. Let's say for example, his idea was to get us to blame each other in order to get everybody killed. He would set up his own murder, he would be the blackened for his own murder, for his own crimes. No, that would make sense. That would make sense. And he wouldn't go that far, I don't think. Otherwise, he wouldn't look terrified. He looks really terrified right now. So, what must have happened is that maybe the two weapons we used to try to make it, maybe two people killed him. There could be a possibility that one person tortured him and the other person killed him. Right? So the, so the first person probably came and found him and tortured him in order to figure out a little bit more about the bombs or anything, and then another person found him hanging there and used a spear to kill him. That could be a possibility. That could be actually a very high possibility that that is the case. Is that one person went and tortured the hell out of him, and another person went and killed him. One person actually came up and used a spear, found a spear, in order to try to execute him. Because the first person actually left him there being tortured and tied up, so he wouldn't go anywhere. That could be a possibility, that one person came and tortured, and the other person came and killed. So the, so one is a torturer, one is a killer. Checking his left hand. There's a cut in his upper right left arm. His legs and right hand have been stab, have stab wounds, but his wounds look like a slice. It's probably the reason that the wound in his left arm doesn't look that deep compared to the other wounds. Well, regardless, it doesn't change the fact that it's a hideous wound. There's blood everywhere. Super difficult. Hmm. That's something strange. Strange? What? See? Look at the palm of his left hand. I think the blood is from when his left arm was sliced, but... Doesn't that blood splatter look strange? Cuts off right in the middle of his palm. That is... that is... that is actually really different. That is actually really weird. That means... that means he actually had his hand closed. He, he was clutching something when this happened. Which also another thing that, hmm, it could possibly be that he this, the uh, the stab wounds was self-inflicted as well in order to try to label himself as the Blacken, so that we all would blame each other and we end up all getting killed. That could be a possibility. His hands was definitely closed. He was holding onto something. That's why the inside of his palms were left uncut. His hands was closed on purpose. He was holding something. He has to. Be. He has to have been. Yeah, it's definitely cuts off. Maybe. That's as far as the blood could reach when it's splattered. Um. Well, that would explain the blood on his palm, but... Hmm? Is something else that strange? Um. When I flip it over and look at the back of his hand... Well? He was also blood, but only above the middle joint of each finger. That also means, that means, that means that he was clutching something. He was clutching something when it, when it happened. He was clutching something, blood splattered, and then his hand opened. You're right. Why is it only on, his, on this part? See? You just as I said, right? It's strange, right? Hmm. I win. Yeah, sure, you win. She's adorable. I absolutely, I really do love when she gets uh like really into the case and everything, and kind of notices the, t the tiny details. But it's definitely strange. What did the killer do to make the blood splatter like this? Blood on the left hand had it been added to the little section of my handbook. 
Hmm. Let's look at his face. He must have been in great pain. Pluto had his agonizing look on his face when he died. His mouth was covered with duct tape. Was this to keep Nagato from screaming for help? This is bad. Jeez, what a horrible look in his face. The blood spot all over it doesn't help either. It's a good thing his mouth is covered with duct tape, otherwise I wouldn't be able to look at him. I got a minute? Sorry, excuse me. Chucky moved past Kazuichi and me, and squatted down next to Nagato's face. And one swift moment, she ripped the duct tape off his mouth. Hey, what are you doing? It's gonna be fine. It'll be fine. I'll put it back one. I'll put it back right away once I'm done investigating here. Hey, hey, hey! Putting the tape back isn't the issue, you grateful swine! You gotta be cursed! Mm. The blood on Nagato's face. Look, it mostly came from the slice of his left arm. Hmm. If that's the case, Man. it's no use. She's not listening. Hey, hey. How about the blood splatter on his face? There's no blood under the duct tape. Huh? What's wrong with that? Well, duct tape has crinkles like it was sticking toward the, sticking towards the inside of his mouth, right? Nagato was probably desperate, desperately moving his mouth under the duct tape. Uh, seriously, what's wrong with that? She means Nagato's mouth was covered with duct tape before he got the spoons all over his body. So he tried to shout, which caused the duct tape to get sucked into his mouth a bit. But what's wrong with that? Is it something we really need to worry about? Uh, I don't really get it. We just putting duct tape back on his mouth. We just put the duct tape back on his mouth already. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, this might be some kind of clue too. She remembered it. Okay, so he had the duct tape on his mouth before the killings happened, before the splatter started happening, on purpose. So they wanted, they wanted to make sure that he wasn't able to scream or nobody would be able to hear him scream, which is why they blocked out his mouth. I think that's what ended up happening. Oh, I mean, obviously. Okay. And now the final object here is a spear. Spear with a flashy ornament. On it is a plain deeply into Nocturus. A uh, flashy ornament on it is a pale deeply into Nocturus' stomach. There's no way around it. Looks like a fatal wound. What's this? Am I? What's this? Such a strange looking spear, isn't it? That cord extends from the tip of the handle, and there's an iron weight attached to it. Phew. I see, I see. Use the cord as a whip to capture the enemy, and deliver the final blow with a spear. Is this your first time looking at this, at this too? Yeah. Of course not. Um, this is the spear of Gungnir, right? You definitely just came up with that. Hey, hey! By the way, I wanted to ask you, where did that spear come from? Um... I feel like I saw it in Nezumi Castle. What? What? Nazami Castle? We did see actually something like that. What the hell? I was it was I was designed to be afraid of mice, so I can't go in there. <laughs> damn you my damn you mice! Damn you all to hell! I see. Even he doesn't know what's inside the castle. That's good, that's good. If he doesn't know what's inside the castle, he doesn't know about the password, he doesn't know about the key uh, the key card. He doesn't know anything about what's going on in the castle, or unless he's bullshitting us. It could be a chance that he's bullshitting us, but that's a low probability. But more importantly, I need to focus on the investigation. The spear definitely catches my eye, but the weight in the end of the cord coming out of the ha coming out of the handle. It looks like the part had blood on it too. But for some reason, section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. It's about the size of a human fist. It's strange that the section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. Also, Jackie mentioned this earlier, but apparently the spear came from Nesmi Castle. It might be better if I, if I confirm that later. I think I know what's up. I actually think I know what's up. So, let's say for example, his left hand was clutching something, which is why all the blood only got on around the palm, and the fingers, and the and the thumb, right? That's the only place. The palm is completely clean, and that cord, that cord over there, right there, that cord right there, has a nice little mark right there towards the end, that is perfect to the same mark on his hand, to the same size of the mark of his hand. So let's say, for example, this is the cord, he grabbed it with his hand like this, which is why the blood only got on his fingers and his thumb and around his palm, but not on the inside of his palm. He was holding it, which is also another possibility that this was also all self-inflicted on his own. Or he was given a chance of actually trying to survive himself by, and holding on... Hey, oh, I got another idea here. This cord was hung up around this entire warehouse, and the only way he could the only way he could protect himself from letting this thing go is by holding on to it. This might have been a sadistic move to get to get somebody to torture him this way. 
might be a possibility, or, the, or let's say, for example, this was self-inflicted. This is a way for him to make sure the spear would drop directly on him, and he taped his own mouth so nobody could hear him screaming in case he was gonna be in pain. This is just so self-inflicted. But there's also a low chance that it's also self-inflicted. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna group my two theories here. A self-infliction theory and a murder theory. And torture theory. That's what I'm gonna go with. I think that's all we can find with his body though. Yes, that's all. Oh wait, there's a burnt rope here. We should check it out. Magda's right wrist is tied with a rope. It looks like the tip of that rope burned off. Could it be the result of the fire? But that's weird. If the rope is burned off like this. Why not just close completely unaffected by the fire when he was close to the uh, to the blaze? Burn rope has been added to the tool section of the handbook. I guess I'm done with the area surrounding Nagato's body. I can't believe I actually investigated such a grisly looking body. Even though I'm surprised at myself. Does this mean I'm used to it? My classmate's dead body is right in front of me. And one of my peers is the killer responsible. I have to investigate his death so I can find the killer. And I used and I used to something as am I used to something as abnormal as that? That would mean I become abnormal. I become an abnormal too. That's a good thing to note. That means that whoever burned the rope, or maybe let's say for example, okay, let's say let's do the th take two theories. Nagato or somebody else burned the rope because they knew that the fire was going to be started here. So the rope was burnt off to make it think like, oh, he was just near the fire. But they didn't realize that the, the hand and his clothes, were, you know, were actually kind of far away. Or, or there's a possibility that the oil lighter, the oil lighter uh, that was put... Okay, for example, let's, okay, let's say, let's say, let's say this happened, right? Let's say this particular thing happened, right? He was tied up, right? He was tied up and then... What ended up happening was the rope, the rope that was uh, putting him to his right hand, right, uh, from right hand to a pillar, was was you know was attached already. And then when he was finally let go, the person that um, the person that you know that was torturing him, tying him up, turned up, flipped on the ladder, placed the uh, placed the ladder, the old ladder near the pillar, near the, where the rope is, to let the rope burn off. But at the same time, there was a like, the curtain of fire that caused him to, you know, be put in this dangerous situation. And then maybe he panics and probably let go of the uh, string on his spear, and the spear went and landed right on him, so he was dead right then and there. He had actually died in the fire while the fire was supposed to try to cover up the body. Maybe. I think that's a possibility. And whoever made us go grab the gas and uh, grab the. Whoever got us to grab the gas full of gasoline, not not anti fire chemicals, it's definitely not anti fire chemicals, come on. The fire grew, so it's, ga it's definitely full of gasoline. We're just trying to make sure that we throw towards the far back of the curtain. Oh shit. If we recollect who actually told us to throw it to the very back. I'm not gonna jump to conclusions, I'm just gonna- Oh god, I just wanna think about it right now. Alright. Oh, but you see right here, there's some blood over there, so that means- That means, that means, the spear was probably hung on the other side of this, and we're just hanging on top of his body. And if he were to let go, then we'll, we'll, we'll stab him. I don't know why there's a steady bear over here, the Monica will plush you. I don't know what it's exactly there for, but... Whatever, let's go ahead and see what else we can investigate here. Um... Later. We should probably talk to everybody right now. Let's talk to Sonya. So just as I thought. If only everyone could go home, nothing would make me happier. No. We should finish the class trial, then we can think about what would happen after. Yeah, that's good. Because Uichi does he know anything? One of us killed Nagaj in such a cruel way. <laughs> it's too bizarre. I can't do anything except laugh. Uh, that's uh Akane? Anything? Um it matter for Gundam killing it for it matter for Gundam's killing it for Mikans, but it looks like it's different this time. It doesn't matter this time. What does it matter? So... The time. Look at the time. It, like looks like the time doesn't matter. It was clearly written in Monokuma's fi file. Time of death was noon sharply. It was noon. What were we doing at that time? Hmm. What were we doing? Well, right now it's. It's time. Well, thirty. So it also has a clock function. Just like, just like Mekamaru. I miss Mekamaru, holy shit. Then that means Nagato died 30 minutes ago. Huh? huh? Happened now recently? He's totally a flesh, fresh kill. Fresh. Seems like a bad way to describe it. Hmm. Um, if that happened 30 minutes ago, was it around the time we were struggling with the bombs? You're right. 
Those fake bombs were originally supposed to explode at noon. Right. Which means whoever doesn't have an alibi for that time is Nagato's killer. But this could have been like that. It could be like when Nekamaru died. Killer could have also been some kind of automatic setup. Also, the crime looks more detailed, so would have needed time to prepare. Right. And Homer doesn't have an alibi before we found the bombs. It's suspicious. Huh? Wait, none of us have an alibi for this time. That's when we'll split up the search for the bombs. Yeah, that's the problem. That is the problem. That is actually legitimately the problem here. Because we all split up for search for the bombs, so we don't really know if it's any one of us doing it. It could be a possibility that it's one of us doing it. And also, it could be that Nagato actually set up for him to be found in such a manner, in such a way. <gasps> now that I think about it, Nagato said he knew who the traitor is, right? Nagato said he knew who the traitor was. So let's say, for example, we'd make, we uh, summarize the two that were self-inflicted. What if Nagito found out that he was a traitor, and he was going to do this whole fiasco here to try to signify that he was a traitor and try to execute the traitor? He did say he was going to catch the traitor, he was going to, he was going to eliminate the traitor. What if he was a traitor, and he chose to, self, to selflessly eliminate himself as a traitor for the, better, for the better good of others? That could be a possibility. He is kind of deranged and insane, so there could be a very much possibility. A lot of this, see, this 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 entire case here, I can definitely see a perspective of self-inflicted. I can definitely see a major case of self-infliction. He just hung, the, you know, somebody just threw the spear over the railing over there with the blood, and then just uh, gave the cord to his into his hand. He let go, then it would end up stabbing. Or he were to like lift the lift the um lift the hand a little bit, we just end up stabbing him, and then that's it. That's probably what would happen. Um, let's talk to uh, Fuhiku. He would know a little bit more about this torture stuff. Like... I'm not freaking out about this, like Kazuichi, but definitely gonna stop thinking about it. When the Marikuma timer reaches zero two days from now, what's gonna happen? Huh? Huh? What's gonna happen? That's obviously wrong. <coughs> Sorry. This rotten school trip is gonna end, right? We can finally go back home. Carefree till the end. Does that mean you don't think that will happen? Well, yeah. Marikuma might be planning to make us do something after the countdown ends. Hey, hey. What do you mean, something? Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> He's making us kill each other, you know? What could be worse than that? Damn it! I don't know. This is Marakuma we're talking about, you know? There's no way we this end smoothly with a count countdown. Anyway, like I said before, if you screw up here, that's the end of us. For now, let's focus on the investigation. But think about the countdown after we live through the class trial. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. Ooh. Then don't bring us don't bring up strange stuff like that. Alright, let's uh, investigate a little bit more about this place here. Let me go outside. Okay, everything physically discovered. Physically discovered, let's check the other side just in case. Okay. Let's go, we just have to talk to people here. Yep, we just gotta have to talk to Chiaki. That's gonna be the last person for us to talk to. She looks like she's in deep thought while staring at the ceiling. What happened? Is there something strange about the ceiling? She's noticing the bus platter. She's noticing the bus platter as well, isn't she? Yep. Or oh, the sprinklers or whatever. Maybe, I guess. I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, about the sprinkler. That, that's one of the sprinkler heads that activate to pull out the fire. Well? You can see a girder right next to it, right? See? See? She noticed the blood! She noticed the blood as well! Can you see that red streak? Huh? You're right. I definitely see it. Looks like a small red line. On the ceiling girder. Perhaps. Is that blood? Blood. The color definitely looks like blood, but there's no way blood could get up there, right? Plus, it's in a straight line. Mm. That's what I've been staring at. I think it's strange. It's definitely strange. You should remember this. Like I said, the spear with the with the, with the uh, wire on the sand was hooked across from the girder, and was put and the uh, the end of it was put into Nagito's hand. That has to be it. That has to be it. Blood on the girder. Okay. Now then, I guess it's enough investigating the area behind the curtain. The kill's goal wasn't just to kill Nagito. Should be another reason as well. If not. They would have gone through the. They wouldn't have gone through the trouble of trying to tie him up with a rope and covering his mouth with duct tape. Not just that. There's no reason to inflict any wounds other than a fatal one. So what was the reason? Looks like I better investigate other areas to figure this out. All right, I should try to investigate the other areas inside the warehouse first. All right, gotta let us get all the areas inside the warehouse. Leave this. Yep. Anything here for us to discover? 
There is a uh, music. Uh, there's an MP3 player. I want to investigate that a little bit. This MP3 player. There's new speaker plugged into it. But why is this here? Maybe. It looks like that weird music was playing from there. Hmm. You know, that music was blaring when the fire started? Yeah, you're right. Looks like a buster from getting drenched by the sprinkler. That's not mistaken, that a music a music was playing from the MP3 player. I don't disagree with that, but why was the killer playing music from this? Probably took out the, the torture of Nagito. Probably could took out the torture of Nagito. That's what I think. Or this was like a, if you think about it as a self like a thing, this was a setup for Nagito. Except he didn't he didn't uh, anticipate the fire. Honestly, I think that's what ended up happening. He pro think about it this way: if he found out that he's a traitor, this was his great crescendo of leaving you know leaving the plane of existence as a traitor. If he was the traitor. That could be a possibility that he just wanted to set up this whole thing, this whole fiasco, and have the music play, and that's how us enter after we figure out that a bomb is not a bomb, and he turns out to be the traitor, and tries to unite us, maybe? I guess? I don't know. Let's imagine if he was the traitor. This would be weird and messed up, but kind of fits Nagito's profile, you know? Kind of fits, it fits his MO. What else can we discover here? Dutch monocular panels. They've been toppled over. Oh, they have been toppled over. <gasps> Somebody stacked them like dominoes. Somebody stacked them like dominoes and and have have been near a lighter, so the curtain would get set on fire. That's what happened. I'm thinking that's what happened. See how they stacked? They stacked like dominoes. So one wild tipped over the other, and the other, the other, the other, the other, and then eventually, what's what hit lighter? Lighter would set the curtain on fire. The entire place would get set on fire as well. I think that's what ended up happening. There's a lot of tipped over monokuma panels. Panels near the curtain and in the back is tipped over and burned. Did the fire do that? But why did it scatter like this? Last time I came here, I seem to recall. It should be uh, should have been ne uh, neatly put away. Exactly, exactly! Which is why they all toppled over to be like dominoes. This was planned. Maybe we the ones who made this mess? Huh? Look, the tipped over panel by the entrance is really close to the door, right? So, maybe the reason these panels are tipped over is... It's fine. I'll open it slowly. No, that's not a problem. Seriously, it'll be fine. Those wards are kind of pushed off... I'll brush off everyone's warning. i slowly open the door to the warehouse. Huh? It's not opening. Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it. I knew it! It's a trap! Seriously, just stop it, okay? Not totally, we're fine. It's gonna use a little more force. But I'm to opening slowly. Kinda ignored the protest and with a mighty kick, door flew open. See? This means this was stop this was set up on purpose, so that once This has to be self-inflicted. This has to be self-inflicted by Nagito. This has to be. Or somebody was extremely clever at uh, setting this entire thing up. Somebody was extremely clever at this, not one day. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. This was set up on purpose. These Nag these uh, Monokuma, uh, these Monokuma panels and cutouts were set up on purpose, so they'll topple over in domino effect and make the place go set on fire. That has to be it. Could it be... Was that it? Well? There's something else I've been wondering. Hey, hey. Smell the are tipped over starting from the entrance to the back of the warehouse, right? They seem to be lying on top of each other in a straight line. Yeah, compared to the other tipped over panels, that line is the only one that's neat, neat and proper. So... Isn't this clearly strange? It is! Not... Jackie knows what's up! Jackie also knows what's up! Strange. That means... We can speculate this was done intentionally. Mm-hmm. Topple over like dominoes. That's what happened here. Let's see what else we can find here, if anything at all. Tons of books. Uh, what else can we find here, if anything at all? Tons of CDs. Oh, Lord. Okay, now we gotta talk to everybody around here. I think that's what we gotta do. We should check on the books, though. A bunch of books stacked on top of each other. I don't know if they contain Monokuma's poetry and Photoshop, or photos. It's pretty much completely soaked up. Can't even turn the pages anymore. Well, it's not like I'm missing much. Yeah, true. It's not like we're really missing much. Ok, 
okay. Let's finally see if we can find a hidden Monokuma around here somewhere. Can't see one, so I'm guessing we have to find it, have to find it later. Hmm. Maybe we can find it here. We checked on Monokuma panels. I guess we should probably talk to everybody real quick. Let's talk to, uh, Chucky. She seems to be on this entire thing. She seems to understand what's going on here. Mm. Looks like the side is completely soaked because of the sprinkler. Even if there was an important clue here, might not be able to notice it. But it's better than a warehouse burning to the ground. I think we were able to put that put out the fire. Hey, hey. But there was a lot of smoke. It's a good thing we didn't go inside when we were throwing the grenades. You are right. I agree. If we did, we would have been caught by the sprinklers and become all wet and soggy. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Well then, <laughs> Miss Anya is all wet. She's all drenched and soggy. Ha <laughs> ha! You were thinking of that, huh? Of course not. I wasn't thinking that at all. Of course he was. Why are you responding, Kazuichi? I was only asking how to be. <laughs> wow! You screwing me with me? Oh my, screwing? How lewd! How lewd indeed. Please don't look at me with such cheerful eyes! I'll imagine it for a second! Kazuichi, you should probably just keep your mouth shut already. Oh lord, okay then. Okay! Uh, Akane? Anything? Um... It mattered for Gundam's killing Mikans. Hey, hey. Looks like the time doesn't matter to them. Never mind, okay, never mind. Let's just return to the time then. Uh, what else can we investigate here? We should probably investigate the other area, shouldn't we? Still areas I haven't finished investigating yet. We should thoroughly investigate here first. Really? CDs? Holy CDs. All copies of Monokuma's music. That should have been burned too. <laughs> wow. Okay, there's nothing else we'll. I guess we should talk to uh, Kazuichi about this. Well, even though I'd say I was gonna freaking kill him, hey, hey, hey. there's no way I would have actually done it. I was just upset, you know? Never mind. Wait, Hiko? Jeez. You're pathetic. Well, think about the countdown after we live through the class trial. Okay, Sonia? Looks like Sonia's focused on investigating the warehouse. Okay, there we go. Which reminds me, something I need to ask her about. Now that I've pretty much finished investigating Nagato's body, I think it's time to talk to her. Hey, Sonia, do you have a minute? Um, yes, what is it? I wanted to ask you about when the big bomb Nagato said the warehouse exploded. Right before it exploded, you said something like this, right? She did tell us it was it was it's not a bomb. It's all right. It is not a bomb. Why did you know the bomb were fake? Um. Um. Well, it's not all either. When we were looking for the bombs, why were you at the military base? I thought you were supposed to be searching in the central island. Plus, when I called you, you didn't come to the factory right away. What were you and? Where were you? What were you doing at that time? Oh my! It cannot be! Do you... Do you suspect me? I mean, you are kind of suspicious, girl. It is a misunderstanding. I am not the killer. Jesus! Shit! You son of a bitch! <laughs> Whoa! Did you learn that from... Uh, Mar Did you learn that from Nekomaru? <laughs> Sonya? I am sorry! I am terribly sorry. I was panicking. I shall come down and explain to you why I was at the military base. When I first explored the final island, I discovered a vast amount of bombs there. Huh? Well? At first, I was worried that someone might use them for nefarious reasons if I announced it to everyone, so I kept silent the whole time. Does that mean when you heard Magito plan the bombs, you got suspicious and went to investigate it? That is. And as I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the models were nowhere to be found. Because you were searching for them, you were late when, you ga when we all gathered. Please listen. And because of that, I reached a conclusion. The bombs that I get brought were from military base, which means they were fake bombs. How did you find out that the bombs of the military base were fake? Um. Because I attempted to use one of them. What? I see. I see. I thought one of the bombs would be strong enough to blast open the door to the ancient ruin. Um. At the time, I, sh I, I, sh I still believed the bombs were real. 
And I thought that I could use one of them to gain entrance to the ancient ruin. Oh! However, that plan was an utter failure. And look who is there! Monami! Monami, Monami, just watching, see what's gonna what's gonna happen there. Monami, what are you doing there, Monami? Also, uh, it's kind of brave uh, for Sonny to actually just write up. Seriously, she is a she is a boss. Holy hell! The bomb was not real. It was merely a fireworks display. God damn it! All to hell! <laughs> oh my God, she's adorable. I love her. See, so that's why you're the only one who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. I did. As did Monami as well. She was also secretly peeking at the bomb. Yeah, I see her. Which means. If those bombs are the same one, are the same ones that disappeared, it would mean Nagato took them. That is why I knew it was fake. However, I didn't. I didn't think it was strange when Nagato blew up the hotel lobby. Uh, yeah, but I remember that. The bomb was real. I could not stop thinking about it. But upon further reflection, it might have been Nagato's plan all along. He showed us a real bomb to make us believe that the bombs were, he said were real as well. If so, Nagato's actions were extremely calculated. That problem is his reason for doing it. Um. With this, I've explained everything. Do you have a minute? There should be no more reason for you to doubt me. You're right. I got it. Okay. Some of the account have been added to the section of the handbook. All right. All right. I pretty much finished looking for clues inside the warehouse. I was able to find some clues, but there's still so many things that I don't understand yet. Hold it. You look worried. Yeah, I am. Well? At a time like this, it might be good if you broaden your investigation range. You mean, it's good to investigate other places as well? She might be right. There's several things I've been wondering about besides the crime scene. The military base that Sonny mentioned, the plushy factory next door. Nezumi Castle, where the spear originally came from. And Nagato's room, too. I'm going to understand the reason for his actions. I need to know more about him. Mm. Pretty sure the others have already finished investigating. Hey guys, isn't it about time we leave this place and try exploring other areas too? In response to Chaki, the others gathered around her. I see. She is really assertive about this kind of stuff, which is also really suspicious. I don't know man, I just get really suspicious about everything that happens, and I'm sorry, apologies for that. I don't mean to get so suspicious and so antsy and so, I guess, um, anxious about this whole thing. But when it comes to f looking at little tiny details, I need to see the tiniest details. I need to notice these kind of things. And she's getting really involved in this. She has gotten involved in cases before, but not as much as this one. So I mean, she really either really wants to get out of the silent or... There could be something deeper. There could be, possibly. I agree. I was just thinking about proceeding to another area. Seems we we have the same idea. Ah. But is it safe? Don't be anyone to guard the crime scene. Yep. We don't have a choice. There aren't, there aren't just aren't enough of us. Besides, we investigated all we can here. Uh, I guess you're right. See? Also, looks like the clothes we found aren't enough to place it to play pieces incident together. So we need to search for them in order in other areas, probably. Mm. Well, alternatively, if there aren't any clues in other areas either, we have to give up completely. You don't need to say that. Then it's okay if we leave this place? Yeah. It's okay. There's no time for us, to, for us to stand around. In order to survive, there's no other way to accept to do this. In order to survive, we need to find Nagato's killer. If we don't sacrifice a person, nobody can survive. That's our reality. That's why there's no time for us to stand around. Alright. Time to investigate. The rest of this island. See if we can find who Nagato's killer is.